I'm here at Hip Hop Camp with Dope D.O.D. What? 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 And Jay Reaper. Yeah. How do you feel after the show? Uh, mesmerized. Mesmerized. Yeah, the show was absolutely insane. I always see like we did Hip Hop Camp in 2012, and it's like uh, <coughs> like Braveheart battlefield shit, you know? Just it's real. Yeah. It's fucking war out there, and I love it. Your energy, energy was like absolutely crazy. Like I know that you guys are huge fans of Star Wars, because actually you're coming back to your previous projects like Millennium Falcon and stuff. Are you ready for the new upcoming Star Wars? Absolutely. Are you hyped from that? Absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, nigga. The yeah, Force man, Awakens. I mean, you know, like it's 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 dope because um, they're bringing the original cast back, so. And he, have you seen the trailers? Like I have seen that they're like the building. Actually, I don't want to see too much because I don't like I don't like to see too much. I've seen, yeah, yeah, I've seen the most. I want a fresh world. state of mind, you know. I just had to take a look at it. I know that they're building stuff from the scratch, so it's going to be absolutely amazing. But that, that's Star Wars. What about Dragon Ball? I'm actually actually directing that one at you, Jay, because like you even compared yourself to Piccolo, and uh, uh, and I was wondering if you're watching the new uh, Dragon Ball. Um, yeah, I've seen it and I'm uh, kind of disappointed. Yeah. And me too. Like, you know, the animation is shit. It's absolutely <laughs> shit. It's absolutely shit. Especially like the fighting sequences. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, you know, know it's, just, it's like they kind of like, you know, they, they dumbed it down to some shit. I don't know. It's like too simple the way it's drawn. It's just silly, man. It, just, it looks like they're doing that in paint or something. Yeah. So I'm pretty disappointed about it. I haven't it. seen that, by the way. No. I'm not going to drop the after I heard you guys say this. It's just too candy, candy-ish and uh, like yeah. the animation absolutely, absolutely sucks ass. Uh, I need to ask you about Papa Joe's, actually. The hamburgers. I know that you have a playlist in the crooning. Oh, ah, 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 that's crazy. And uh, Papa Joe's. Papa Joe's. I heard that they have like one of the best hamburgers that you ever ate. But was there a place that, well, uh, during your traveling that actually <laughs> <laughs> Told you guys that there are better hamburgers. Here we go, say it together. Five guys, burgers, and fries. Is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Five guys, burgers, and fries. Get the hell yeah. Fuck the states, man. I mean, you know, that's where you need to be for the best burgers. That's it. No Facts be spoken. Got it. I'm Got trying it. not to get fat. We're going out there with ICP again, so. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be the Skits Vicious trying to stay on the diet tour. <laughs> <laughs> but with five guys near me, that's not gonna work. So. Yeah. You're gonna bring that to your show, so don't worry about the calories, I suppose. Like, uh, Skits, yeah. do you have time to play Blood Omen 2 from time to time? Like, I'm actually directing that one because. Because uh, of my uh, Soul Reaver light? Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, Seraphim and, Priest light. Yes, yeah. that's, that's the line that I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, well, honestly, I've, I've never, I've never like been a huge Blood Omen fan. Well, it's dope, but I mean, like my little bro used to play that more than me. But I used to be into the Soul Reaver, you know, the Rise of Story with, with the, the Vengeance on Kane and all that shit. So, Seraphim Priest boy Pearson, that's what that is. Uh, okay, next one goes to you, Dan. So. You compared yourself to the guy from K Pax, Kevin Spacey. Are you into his like new shit? I'm actually very into the one at House of Cards and stuff. Of course. And, uh, yeah, only, I only, only that. No, I only seen uh, uh, the first episode, <laughs> like partially, and I seen like 30 minutes of that shit. And, you know, I wasn't like at that moment. I wasn't feeling like, like politic shit. You know, but I know it's a sick series though, and I love Kevin Spacey. Anything he does, Kevin Spacey's a legend. Man. He's a motherfucking legend, you know. So yeah, like you know, I know his goal. I told that shit is right. good. House of Cards. I gotta check it out more. I gotta get that shit spinning. House of Cards. Let's stick to the alien shit then, like Piccolo, then the guy from K-Pax, alien stuff all over again. Do you think like 
we're the only ones and where there's someone around there. It's definitely so life out there, I mean, you know, it would be dumb, you know, not to think, you know, it was life out there. Because, I mean, you know, there's more uh, stars and planets in the universe. I mean, there's grains of sand on the beach. Think about that, maybe. What's the connection between Fruningen and Tasmania? Tasmania? Yeah, Tasmania. I know uh, you know. I know, yeah. Um, there was a, a guy who came from uh, Groningen. I think he was half from Groningen and half something else. But anyway, he went and sailed out. I think this was around 1500. He went to sail out uh, to Australia. And he found the island there. It's called, uh, his name was Abel Dusman. Ah, yeah, I've heard of that. And so he found an island That's and he named the island, island after him. So the island is called Tasmania. So this guy is from Groningen, but you know the Tasmanian devil, right? <laughs> no, tra no translation needed after. That That's that shit. It's real Tasmanian. That shit is straight from Groningen. <laughs> what you gonna do? I won't ask you about the pillow fights, the Groningen, because I already did that like during the interview in Wrocław. I remember Dr. Dillows, yeah, he was the one answering that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know shit about the pillow fights. Uh, I know that you're a second, uh, actually, in, the, in, the, in that, that thing, but I'll just take a quick glimpse of that one. How is your German doing, by the way? Uh, my Deutsch is uh, good. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Eigentlich mein Deutsch ist ein kleines bisschen mangelhaft jetzt. You should, you should try to record a track just like Ari the Ragged Man did in German. In German. Yeah, I know he did a track in German. Yeah, yeah he's got boots there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's good. Cool. So oh, I, might, I might do some shit like that one day. You should have a note. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a good note. No DOD track coming out in German. Okay, another one. Zubrówka um, Addiction. For the Polish fans, how is that doing? Is there any other? We usually sip it when we're out in Poland. Like we can get it at home. It's usually a tradition to, you know, when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. The Polish do. Yeah, man. Zubrowka's the shit. But I sip it when I'm in Poland. Yeah. Even though it's the same Zubrowka. When I'm in the no, no, it's never the same. The bars and grass. Yeah, there might be a slight more refined. Yeah. To the bison grass here. How about Y'all have bison out here? Nah. 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 It's a shame. But I do fuck with it's those. A uh, it's a shame, shame though. I fuck with that absolute though. That's one of my favorite drinks actually. Wow. Well, yeah, every, but, time, but, every time I come out here, I'll buy me a bottle. But, but it's hard to get a really good one. You know, there's a uh, Dutch story related to absinthe too, right? Which is that? Now I'm gonna flip it on you. Man. Oh, bam! I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So you got me this time. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh, nigga. Yeah, yep. nigga. You know the, the dope. You got the line, right? Quote that line. I think they make art like they Vincent Van Gogh. See what I mean? Vincent Van Gogh, famous Dutch painter, and he used to yeah, say yeah. absinthe. I, I don't know that he actually did it on absinthe. Yes, 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 yes. That was a good one. I, I don't know. History one. lessons, children. So you, today, children, you learned about Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Dragon different Ball. Different galaxies. This all happened in a galaxy far, far away. Far, far away. But whole hip hop camp. The last question is, what's coming next when it comes to you guys? Like, are you working on any new project right now? I have seen your uh, new video, but are you... Dirt Dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check that shit out first of all. Dirt Dogs. The last video off the of the EP, we've had a very successful year touring this album. Red Man on the feature, shouts out Reggie. And um, shouts out Mr. Ghostman, rocking with us today. Wu-Tang, homie. And, um... Yeah, we're working, man. I'm not gonna tell you guys too much, but you're in for a lot of good shit. And rest in peace to Sean P, by the way. I, I, I wanted to ask you guys about that, actually. Like, your memories, extreme memories connected with Sean P. I know it was a very close connection, because every time when you're doing a track with someone, it's it's not that like you're asking someone through like managers and managers and stuff, but you actually create this, yeah. Relation with, with 
with you and the people that yeah. are on your tracks. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's so organic, it's real, you know, that's what's up. So what, what was the, the connection with uh, Sean P? Man, I mean, it's crazy because when we were working on our debut album, we were looking for a feature and then, um, I stumbled across his email address. I think he, he tweeted it himself or some shit like, if you wanna fuck with me, whatever. Um, so, <clears throat> I sent him the joint, and it's funny because the day I sent him the joint, a little homie from my neighborhood who was a friend with my little bro, he was just moving to the United States that same day, the day I sent that shit to Sean. And before I heard he had landed in the States, Sean had replied from the States saying, yo, here's my number, call me up. Right, let's right. work on this record. Right. Yeah, man, that, it was deep, man. And I mean, like me and Reap, when we were in high school, like 2005, and Sean P came with the Monkey Bars album. That was like, you know, that was our Bible. What's happening, Trevor Putman? Let's get it cracking. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy. Easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. Cutting that style of the shit. Without the flow, like somebody left the mess up. In the front row, but the road broke. Swept up. Grab the face by my tongue, no more words. We keep rappers in our cage. Let the smash up. We got the devil's name from the door. Let the face tear us in a piece of me. You don't know if you will ever have love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the guys that are there, spitting some verses. We got to. 
guys. So I really appreciate that. Thanks for your time. It's good. Appreciate it. Man. Yeah, man. So Peace love, out, man. man.